Hello everyone. This is a compact pressure your CQ43 laptop. Actually, customer bought, customer bought it disassembled to me. It is totally dead. Let me connect and show it to you. When we connect the main board with the power supply, the laptop with the power supply, here you can see the touchpad lock indicator blinks. So let's check for the voltages. Here is the input. So let me remove the disconnect this first. The external the USB port this is the speaker. So I already disconnected the display. Let me disconnect this. Okay. Now, first of all disconnect. AC adapter, speaker, first I will remove the BIOS battery, okay. now select the adapter, here you can see this is the input, from here the voltage goes through this MOSFET. So let's check for the voltage there. No voltage. Zero volts. Nineteen volts. To this distance, there should be voltage. Not getting voltage here. As you can see here too, here we should get five volts and three volts, three point three volts. I'm not getting it shows that something is wrong so let me first disconnect this let me check for the MOSFET let's check if any MOSFETs short Here we see this MOSFET it shows short. First of all, let me clean it. So this MOSFET doesn't go short by itself maybe there is some other component which is short circuit as you can see the output here it is showing short okay let me check Okay, this MOSFET as well has gone short. We need to replace these two MOSFET and check. And so here it is hot. Okay, let's replace these two MOSFETs and continue. We need to replace this MOSFET and the other one is on the back side. So I have already two good MOSFETs here. I have taken out these two MOSFETs from this board. Here's this location. And the numbers are same. It is this one is double four zero six and these two are as well double four zero six. So first of all we need to apply some paste.
Estes sonidos. Um porquinho. We need to be careful with the pin numbers. The one here, this is pin number one. Actually, this one customer has already disassembled and brought it to me. So I am. Um, I did not show the disassembling part. And I request you, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell icon so that in the forthcoming videos you will not lose any of them. In the forthcoming videos, I will be posting how to. I will try my level best to come up with videos uh, to show you which all voltage we need to check whenever there is a dead laptop. There are three main parts, main voltages 19.5 main voltage and then 5 volts and 3.3. If we don't have 3.3 then there will be no voltages to the switching. So we need to be confirmed with these 3 volts, 5 volt, 3.3 and 19.5. If all three voltages are okay and still the laptop is not switching on then there will be some problem with the BIOS. If we program the BIOS or replace the BIOS, I see with new program then it will work fine. These two are the faulty MOSFETs. This one is the good one. I will show you by the multimeter. Is the faulty as you can see all the eight legs are short to each other this is the good one here this will be short output so pin number one is for the triggering So now uh, this one is the good one. Just check the pin number one is this side. Okay, I'll allow it to cool down and then we'll fix it. As you can see, both the MOSFETs are short. After it's cool, need to clean it. Let us use isopropylene or paint thinner to remove the paste. The paste. Okay. Now let it dry. Now we'll fix this inboard and check.
like this here. Now this is the hard disk drive connector, this is the display connector, now I will insert as we have removed the BIOS battery, the laptop should switch on by itself, let me connect it, ok now the light is on, fan is rotating, we should wait for the ok, display is also ok, as you can see. So now let me assemble it back, disconnect, press the power key, okay. Okay, it's okay, disconnect the power. Now I need to fix this one first or else the hinges will break so first I need to fix this the lengthy one the big screw should be fixed here the short one is here This is the speaker motors, speaker wire. Let's fix them. Comes here. So now 
Here there is one screw need to be fixed. I'm sorry, actually this connector it is not for the HDD as I said earlier, but it is for DVD drive. Here you can see the cable goes in this way here on this. So now let's fix the keyboard part, the touchpad connector here appears to be rusted, so I need to clean them a bit. It appears as if customer had kept the laptop idle for many days or maybe one year or so. Okay, now we connect it. So, before this, I need to fix the power switch. Good that customer has not lost any screws. He gave me all the screws. You see, even this is a bit corroded. Corrosion, corrosion, corrosion. It is eating many of the electronic devices. Before fixing this, now I'll see the screws here. One, two, three, three, only three screws from the top. For disassembling you can do the reverse of the video now. I am assembling it back so you can do the reverse of this. Insert the board, if you can after, insert it in this way here. Should be straight, lock it, turn it, and press them into the lock. Okay, now turn it upside down. Here is the Wi Fi port. Thank <laughs> you. 
Into the UJ. Now for all the screws and take the hard disk HDD. Please note that two, then these screws, the one this size, other screws are short, the lengthy one should be fixed on these two ends. If you fix them any other place, then they will break the cabinet. They will create a hole. So to avoid that, please fix the screws in their appropriate position. in the proper position. Now finally, uh, let's fix all the doors, covers. Okay, Windows is starting here, you can see. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you in uh, repairing the dead condition laptop or waking up your dead laptop. If this video is helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.